what's up guys and welcome back to the channel in today's video jesus and i are going to install that roll bar in his miata before we do that though i got to show you guys something really cool jesus and i actually realized this is the first time that we've had all of the cars in the same place i mean because we have the acti his miata his skyline it kind of does suck that i mean the skyline's broken the acti actually needs a drive shaft so that's broken too this one's actually good and then we have the other mr2 as well so that's pretty pretty cool actually anyways on to the whole roll bar install yeah so i got the roll bar from hard dog it's the m2 roll bar they have three or four different variations on this style of roll bar and then when you order it there's a couple different options you can have you can choose to get harness tabs those are like an extra 80 bucks i believe i chose to get them in case one day i choose to run harnesses so that's already there that's the basic lowdown on that i'm glad that we're finally getting around to installing it because it's been sitting in my garage for the better part of like three months or something three months in your garage and it was like a solid three months in this garage yeah it's been sitting around for a while we've been um neglecting the miata but she's gonna get some attention so we've obviously never installed a roll bar in a miata before but we watched a few videos and it seems like it's pretty straightforward we take out the seats part of the carpet jesus mentioned that we're gonna have to at the very minimum loosen up a few of the bolts on the soft top and then we should be able to slide that in start cutting stuff up and drilling some holes can I show you something, Jesus? Hey, what's up? Come over here, check this out. So I know you're my brother and I was supposed to be nice to you. Yeah. But like, come on, dude. I'm calling you out on that. Yeah, no, that's bad. That's bad. You know, I guess I just got dad's cleanness drilled into me. So with my cars, I don't like them dirty at all. So my theory is if you can't see it, it's not there. It's kind of like how it's not <laughs> illegal to speed if you don't get pulled over. No, it's, it's illegal. There's just no consequences if you don't get caught. Though what I will say is I have seen cars that are Comparatively speaking, much more disgusting. Gross is gross. This is gross is gross. Well, no, there's like a, there's like a scale to it. So it's it's a, this is this is like a five or six. This isn't a ten out of ten. Like when there's mold throughout a whole car, like. Uh, <laughs> no, no, Jesus, we're gonna move on. We we're moving on. His defenses because there's not that much mold in the car. It's only the soft top. Anyways, on to the next thing, Zeus. I will say in your defense, one of the things that we actually had planned on doing was making a video of deep cleaning the car, but this car kept getting put on the back burner. So we're gonna give it the attention it deserves though. After the roll bar, I actually do think we can clean the car. So next time you guys see her, we're gonna be power washing these and that's going to be so amazing. What do we gotta do? Uh, I gotta start doing the carpet. Well, part of that, then actually gotta lift this up because the back end of this carpet isn't actually attached. Yeah, I don't know when that happened, but at one point uh, it was just never attached or it was taken off and then never reattached. Oh, well that makes our lives easier. The next thing we're gonna do is take off this little side trim piece right here and the weather stripping. One of the things that we've seen online is conflicting things. So like some people are cutting the seat belt out. We're not, cause we're gonna plan to use the stock seat belt. Oh, that's just full tight. There's this little piece here, so if we undo this, it allows it just to come around the uh, whole like seatbelt mechanism. Oh. Same thing on that side? Yeah. I think we're getting pretty close now. Once we take off this cover, am I correct, Asus, that we'll be able to test fit the roll bar and then we're also gonna have to move some of the wiring, is that right? From what I'm reading from like the actual like online instructions, that's pretty much all that's left. And he said that where we do the test fitting is to make sure there's no like weld splatter from or like a uh, residue there so you can have like a clean drilling area. Well guys, now that we got this panel out of the way, we know that we have to take the ECU out. And then apart from that, we know that we have to make cuts here. We just don't know how much. Here on the passenger side, we're gonna have to remove this stud. And then here, just do like a little three by three box on each side with uh, some hand shears. A lot of people were having to cut this and hammer that down. I don't know if we'll need to do that. I don't see any reason why we would need to, especially because the instructions more than anything mentioned, just cutting this area yeah. to make room. I think we're gonna be okay. Are you a little nervous cutting up your car? Yeah, <laughs> I am. Cause the idea is it'll never be the same, but also throwing this in will add structural rigidity to it. So well the bigger thing is just safety as a yeah. whole. So yeah. So I, it's it's worth it to do this small amount of like cutting up. Oh well, it does make me nervous. Be careful so you don't like cut your hands. It'd be nice if we had gloves. I yeah uh, thinking about this I should have brought some from work. We 
got the cuts done. I will be honest, uh, both of the new, Jesus and I are in agreement. They are not the prettiest things, but they will work. Honestly, our biggest thing is that we're super nervous about like cutting next to a gas tank. You know, sparks flying and stuff would not be a good thing because that could potentially cause the vapors to go gloomy and cause a fire. So we don't want that. Well, it's not pretty, it will work. We've gotten the wiring moved out of the way. So right now we're gonna put this in, we think with a little bit of massaging, mainly with the wiring, that's our biggest issue. It should go on in. And then after that, we should be able to start drilling the bolts for everything or drilling the holes for everything. got the bar in and pretty much the biggest pain with this is just literally being able to massage the wires to get them where you want so we ended up disconnecting the battery cables we pulled it through and now we're going to be able to reroute it right back through here and we thought we'd be able to get it done in about a day it's getting kind of annoying not so much that it's difficult it seemed like you were getting pretty fed up with those wires reasonably speaking yeah the wires were pretty annoying and this right here having to bolt these in so we can get like a proper test fitting and like line it up so we can mark where we need to drill all we can use is this to build on what asus is saying i honestly think a lot of it comes down to we watch some videos and just because of our well honestly inexperience and then lack of being familiar with the miata platform things are taking a little bit longer anyways i think asus hit it right on the ball so what he's gonna do is finish tightening up that little bolt there we're gonna clean up our mess call it a day and then we'll just come back at this next weekend finish the roll bar installed what's up guys jesus and i are back at it uh last time we left off we had the interior stripped and we had just test fitted the roll bar like i said we had just test fitted the roll bar so we have it in we have it bolted in right here so pretty much the first thing we're gonna do now is make some marks and then drill these holes right there the plan is to drill these holes put the roll bar back in test fit it and then once we know that this part works we're we're gonna come up and do the ones on the top there. Now that we have the holes drilled, we went ahead and test fitted it. There's the three holes down there on both sides and they fit perfectly fine. So that's a success. We knew these ones would be easy. Our bigger concern was going to be up here, getting good access to these bolts right there. That's gonna be kind of a pain. It'll be a pain, but I think it's doable because like you said before we started this, what other people would do is they'd get at least one hole in and then use the backing plates as a template to do the other holes. So I think if we go that route, I think it's completely doable. So our plan right now is like, just like Asus said, we're going to mark it. We're gonna to try to at least get one hole and then use the backing plate as a template for the other side. So we're just gonna to try to get the hole that's gonna be the easiest to get to. The bolts actually all lined up perfectly fine. So the bottom ones, those ones over there, the ones on top and then the ones over here. How are you feeling, Asus? A static, I guess, is the best way for me to put it. It's like, I just took a really hard test and I found out I got 100% on it. God, it's it's such a, like, just a weight off my chest knowing that it's in, it's virtually done, kinda. Well, it pretty much is. So clean up. We are then gonna have to put the seat belt stuff back in and then we're actually gonna have to reroute the wiring stuff the proper way because we just kind of threw it out of the way to make sure this fit, but we'll route it so it doesn't get crunched by this or anything like that so yeah we're gonna pick this back up tomorrow well guys we are finally going to finish the install of the roll bar today jesus already came over and he lightly cleaned it up it's not really perfect but that's okay it's a lot better than it was so at this point we're just going to put the roll bar back in the miata and as we do it the roll bar itself is going to be fine but i know we're going to have to trim some pieces so there's a plastic covering that goes here we'll have to cut that in half the ecu bracket we'll have to trim and then i'm going to assume the interior pieces that go right here will also have to be trimmed a little bit but other than that it should be pretty straightforward also we're going to be able to retain these stock seat belts i was kind of concerned because the bar goes right in front of the seat belt but from what everyone said online that shouldn't be an issue Well guys, we got her bolted in for the last time. Well, sort of, everything went really smooth, probably the only issue that we ran into were these bolts here. The ones that were supplied with the kit didn't work with it, but everything else worked fine. So we reused the old hardware just for that. Everything else is the new stuff. Other than that, it's in perfectly. So now it's a matter of putting plate thing that goes here. We're gonna have to trim the backing plate, which we knew pretty much on this side, it's gonna be like right there. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side over there. The 
next thing we got to do is fit this top carpet and surprisingly we're not really going to have to cut a whole lot so it already has slits here from the factory and in terms of the roll bar pretty much we're just going to have to make a little hole here on both sides and we think it should fit and that's pretty much it and then after that the last thing we have to cut is the trim piece that goes right here we have to pretty much split that in the middle and oh put the seats back in after a few times of cutting we got it cut just right well sort of so this piece right here perfect and this one we cut a little bit too much luckily though it doesn't look too bad as a whole i think also seat belt covering it and once the seat's there you're not really going to notice no it won't be too bad i guess the next thing to do is actually just put the seats back in and then we're, we're literally done finally yeah after about nine ten hours and two weekends well i mean i think it's closer to eight to nine hours but still yeah. it's pretty much a full day's work yeah and we split it up over three days just because well guys we are finally done with the roll bar install so it looks amazing jesus was actually really smart and he bought their like foam package thing and it looks really really good so obviously there's foam under here and then it has a leather wrapping oh i love it i'm really glad that the leather turned out as nice as it did because when i originally saw it in the package i'm like well what is this I could have just gotten some like leather from Jane and Fabrics, but this looks great. Like it looks so good. It really looks good. But the other thing is like, if you shake it, man, the whole car shakes like this is solid and the only like fitment issue we had was with the bolt for right here but like i said we ended up just using the stock bolt and it worked fine everything else was just as described in terms of the actual install i think the only annoying big thing that we ran into was the whole wiring situation we didn't anticipate having to move that much wiring or reroute two, two things i thought were also annoying obviously doing the top bolts drilling those holes and having to cut up like the back plate not so much having to actually cut it but like using the the cutting wheel on the Dremel that made me really nervous because those things just like break away and go wrong really easily. Next time we do something to the Miata, it's deep clean it, put the steering wheel on, and then another day we're gonna do the uh, harness and seats. That'll be down the road. Well, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.